Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss an upload. And to my existing subscribers, thank you for your constant support. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to cut a corset with back waistline. I'll be using this paper to demonstrate to you on how to cut corset with back waistline. What you have to do first is to take your measurement. For you to know the measurement, I'm going to measure your measurement. If your boss measurement is 40, so you will divide it by 4. Whatever it gives you, you are going to add 3 or 4 inches to it. But in this case, we are going to take the back measurement. You have to add extra 4 inches or 5 inches to it. So you will be needing around 22 to 23 inches. I have 22 inches length here and the width is 14 inches. That's how you are going to cut your fabric. I'm going to take my measurements now to place your tape measurement here. So I will mark my boss point. So the boss point I will be working with is 11 inches. The under boss is 13 inches. Then waist of 16 inches. Then I will use the remaining inches for the back effect. We have 6 inches left for the back. What I'm going to do right now is to make a straight line across the vertical measurements that I've measured here. This is my boss point, my under boss. This is my waistline. This will be the back. That will be the back line. Now, I will take my shoulder line. So the shoulder line we are working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2, that will give us 8 inches. I'm going to mark your 8 inches here. If your shoulder line is 15 inches, you are going to mark 7 and a half inches. I will mark my neck width of 3 inches and 3 and a half for the neck depth. I am going to connect the line together. Then I will come down by half an inch. Then I will connect the half an inch. Now I am going to mark my chest line. So the chest line will be 9 inches. So I am going to mark a straight line as well. I'm going to mark my hammer line. After doing that, I will come to the chest line. Let me label this chest line. I will come to the chest line. Then I will mark my boss measurement on the chest line. So the boss we are working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4. That will give us 9.5. I will look for the midpoint of the hammer hole get your midpoint so that's the midpoint you have to come in by 0 0.5 now i'll be connecting my ham hole I haven't done that i will mark my boss pound boss pound is point to point of your breast so my point to point is eight inches so i'm going to mark four inches all through then i will mark a straight line i'll come to the under boss and mark one inch on both sides do the same thing on the boss then i'll mark a straight line straight line as well next thing is to connect the line to meet with the boss point so i'm going to place my cup fuller this way to connect to the boss line and you do the same thing place your tape measure at the chest line this way and mark Two inches and you take the line up now at the point of the two inch that I marked above the chest line I'm going to mark a straight line next thing is to mark one inch on both sides after doing that I'm going to connect one inch on both sides to me with the boss line so that is it don't forget that we are going to have the yoke so I'll be using this side for the yoke so this will be the yoke the yoke is seven inches i will come to the chest line then i will mark 0 0.5 inch connect it to meet with the boss points we are going to connect the cup i'm going to place your ruffler this way that's the first cup you will come up here I'm going to mark the other cup as well place your french cup this way, you connect from the underboss to meet with the boss line measurement. So this is the second cup. I'm going to connect this to meet with the boss line measurement as well. So you connect it to meet with the one inch. 
Now, what we are going to do next is to mark our horizontal measurement. So you come to chest line, you mark your boss measurement. We have already marked our measurement here. This is a nine and a half. Then you come to the under boss. Under boss is 34. 34 divided by 4 is 8.5. Don't forget, you have to mark the dart intake. It's 2 inches. So we are going to mark an extra 2 inches. Then we are going to mark 2 inches of sewing allowance. Let's go to the chest line so that we can mark our 2 inches extra for the sewing allowance. You come to the waistline. The waistline is... 39. 39 divided by 4 is 9.75. So we are going to mark our 9.75. Then the 2 inches of that taken here. So I'm going to transfer it here. Then we are going to mark 2 inches for sewing allowance. So that's it. We marked 2 inches for the dart. So we are going to add it here as well. Now our set back waistline is ready. Come down to the waistline. So under the waistline, you mark a stress line to meet at the edge of the fabric or at the edge of the pattern here. So that's what you are going to do. So this is our basket effect. It is very simple to cut. So if you are watching my channel for the first time, you are welcome. This is a platform where we learn how to cut different pattern style. So if you are joining us for the first time, you are highly welcome once again. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video so that you won't miss out. And for those that have already subscribed to this channel, I really appreciate you for your love and support. Now what we are going to do is to cut our blouse out. You can see it is very simple to cut if only you can follow the step by step given in this tutorial. So I urge you to try it and let me know in the comment section. Please kindly subscribe. If you subscribe, if you like and if you share, that will encourage me more. Thank you once again. Now I'm going to connect the line together. Connect the line. Connect it to meet with the... Oh, that's it. I'm going to blend this side. I'm going to cut it out. The look now. So you can see the basque effect. Now I'm going to cut out the neckline. You can see the neckline now. Now I'm going to extend this line. And if you want to cut this out as well, you can do that. Or if you don't want to cut it, you can leave it. If I want to cut it out now, it will only have two cuts as well. This, this is, you can see the box effect done. Can you see it now? This is the box effect. If you want us to cut it, let's cut it out. Let's cut this out. So can you see it now? So this is it. This is a yoke. 2 A, 2 B. If not, you may not know which you want to. Can you see it now?
if you love this tutorial if you love this tutorial kindly give it a like